What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So, I wanted to kind of talk about the Meek Mills questionable bar that involved Kobe Bryant. Um, it's kind of been all over social media this past week, and I, I wanted to get, you know, give my two cents on it, and I wanted to get your guys' opinions on this whole situation. Uh, Meek Mill has been in some hot water as of late. He's been in some other controversy involving 6 9 they had a run in i want to say last week or week before last so it, it's like me can't catch a break but at the same time he kind of puts himself in these situations so there's an article on entertainment weekly basically the title of the article is beak mill says he apologized to vanessa bryant for his controversial kobe bryant lyrics let's check it out so um the lyrics in question are reportedly to the song Don't Worry, Rest in Peace Kobe, which had leaked online this week. Meek Mills assertedly raps, this be I'm effing, always tell me that she love me, but she ain't ever show me. Yeah, if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chopper, it be another Kobe. That was the line in question. Obviously, a lot of people felt it was too soon to even make a line like that, and to be honest, the bar isn't really that hard hitting for that to even be something to bring up you know what i'm saying like the bar is kind of subpar at best so when he said this of course he received some backlash this was you know kobe passing last year was very like like monumental in the sense of everyone felt that even if he wasn't a basketball fan you knew who kobe was and you felt that you know what i'm saying like i was even seeing like clips of streamers talking about kobe passing and they don't even watch basketball but they're like yo this one hits different i don't even watch basketball but i know who kobe is and it's like the way he passed was so tragic the you know him you know being with his daughter and then all the other uh people that was on the helicopter as well them losing their lives it was just like an awful tragic thing so of course him rapping this putting this bar you know rapping this line it, it, it of course it was going to cause a lot of issues and i'm surprised nobody that was in the studio or on his team didn't say anything like yo bro i don't i don't think you should put this bar in i think you should change this line but obviously um vanessa bryant wasn't too happy about it so when she found out about it uh she posted on her story dear at meek mill i find this line to be extremely insensitive and disrespectful period i am not familiar with any of your music but i believe you can do better than this if you are a fan fine there's a better way to show your admiration for my husband this lacks respect intact true this is coming from Vanessa Bryant herself. She's still grieving. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not something that you just make a throw away line to, especially someone as significant as Kobe Bryant is. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Hip hop has always made his name on very spicy, controversial bars. We've seen it before. We've seen it when rappers bring up other rappers dead friends you know what i'm saying we've seen that before and it's it's hip-hop but at the same time it's like i get why people feel the way they feel towards me because of this and they felt like this was a little bit too soon i don't think you should have did this me personally if i'm a rapper i'm not even thinking of no bar like that like if it comes to my mind i'm not putting that out there because i know it can be insensitive like imagine Vanessa Bryant's daughter, one, you know, one of her other uh, children hearing that, you know, growing up hearing that bar, that bar will remind them of the the horrible incident and the tragedy that fell upon, you know, their father, you know, what I'm saying and their sister, you know, what I'm saying. So you got to always think about the family related to the passing. How would they take that if they heard that on the radio? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, initially, Meek Mill was kind of like standing his ground like he 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 really wasn't trying to uh I guess you can say double down like he was he was sticking to his guns uh he had made some tweets which once again what I think Meek Mill's greatest downfall is him being on Twitter 
the Twitter fingers have not been kind to him, and he needs to really sometimes stay off Twitter. Somebody uh, promo, somebody promo a narrative, and y'all follow it. Y'all internet antics can't stop me. Shit like Zombie Land or something. LOL. I think it's more than just antics. I, I don't think this is just a let's go to hate Meek Mill parade. It's just you kind of put yourself in situations where people will give this you know they have this opinion of you like yo like what are you doing you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't think it's just people trying to paint the narrative and go after me but at the same time you put yourself in these type of situations you can only expect some type of backlash like i'm just saying um he also had some other tweets um I apologize to her in private earlier today, not to the public. Nothing I say on my page directed to an internet viral moment or the family of grieving of a grieving woman. If you care about someone grieving, change the subject. Um, here's the thing. Like I said, he kind of brought this on himself. So people giving him this backlash, this falls on him because he chose to have that that line in a song. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to. He could have easily not put that out. He could have, you know, as soon as she's seen that, all right, I don't think this is, I think this is in poor taste. Let me switch it up. Granted, I'm not advocating artists, you know, have their creative control just taken away from them and they can't say and express how they feel in music. I'm all for keeping artists, allowing artists to have their own creative mindset and how they want to deliver their music. But at the same time, you also got to be able to understand that what you put out there is going to affect people. And especially when it involves someone as beloved as Kobe, your words can kind of have to be careful on how you use them because it's going to affect people sometimes positively, sometimes negatively. All right. He also had another tweet. I don't think we are on the same signal, y'all. <laughs> I don't see what y'all see. I be looking at the net laughing like I did what? I say random shit all day on social. It becomes a trend to hate me every once in a while. But I feed off that shit. I'm a beast, literally. Someone just needs to take control of Meek's Twitter. I, I don't know if he has a PR team, but he needs someone needs to take his phone away. Someone should have been took his phone away when it comes to Twitter because he just, I don't think he gets it. I, I, I really don't think he gets it. It's it's all about now you're in this, like you're not just no regular guy. You're not somebody on the street. People know who you are. Your name is, you know, out there. So you have to move different. You know what I'm saying? You can say certain stuff behind closed doors, but when you, like I said, you put yourself in this situation it's not even just people trying to pick on you and and start beef with you it's just it's like yo you set this bar you set this line and people are gonna look at you in a different light now they're gonna be like yo this is like what's up with that like i don't know about that bro I, i'm you know we live in a cancel culture environment so people are quick to cancel you for anything you don't think people are quick to cancel you for saying something like that about kobe bryant like using his name in the situation as a a, a mid tier bar in a song, like come on now, like of course people are gonna be ready to cancel you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just one of those things, and um, I think that's kind of the end of it. Um, but he said he did apologize to her in private, and and, and that's cool. It, it didn't have to be public for him to say yo. You know, I, I, you know, I apologize to her, but I, I do think if he would at least, you know, say, yo, I, I am sorry. You know, if he did make a public statement, I think it would have been cool. I think that would have been, you know, nice. Granny, he didn't have to, but I think that's what, what people wanted. Just like, hey, bro, like, hey, I made a mistake. My bad. I'll take it off the song, whatever. I'm not sure if he is going to take it off the song, but, you know, I would hope that he does because I'm going to be honest with you. That I don't see. I mean, it, the song can get played, but they would probably have to bleep out the words. And even then, it's like it's a big risk because, like I said, Vanessa Bryant already came out. She didn't like it, so it's like it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you say you apologize to her, but you're still kind of giving this vibe like I apologize to her, but y'all really tripping. And it's like, nah, I don't think we tripping in this situation. I just think 
the timing of what you said was a little bit too soon and i don't know maybe maybe he could have used another bar i don't think he had to use that bar that didn't have to be the ending punchline so i want to get y'all opinion do y'all agree with me do y'all feel like you know what I'm saying meek shouldn't have to change what he uh the bar what he said do you think you know what I'm saying he should just keep it in the song or do y'all think he should change the line and use you know come up with something else do y'all agree with how he feels about people just randomly picking up on picking on him and it's a trend to pick on him and try to bully him and try to cancel him or do y'all agree with the notion that no he was kind of out of line and out of pocket for what he said and you know how he went about it so i would love for you guys to start a discussion down in the comment section below um i definitely want to get into more commentary type type videos because these are things that i'll be you know thinking about you know when when they happen and i'll be wanting to have a conversation as you know on a public forum so best believe you know I, I wanted to get your guys opinion on that so if you like these type of videos let me know i'll definitely uh be willing to have more discussions with you guys like i want you know i want this channel to be more you know interpersonal between everyone that's subscribed to me like i want to be able to have these debates with you guys and and see what you guys have to say so comment down below let me know what y'all opinions on this whole meek mill controversial bar situation i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace